200-day moving average in the Dow. So we've got to be right there at a major when breakout we are, point. We're over that point. Now, as far as getting in, if you're in already, fine. If you never got out, fine. You had some pain in December. If you want a confirmation to get in that's going to take it right up to the highs, well, we're not there yet. Now, if you're looking at the 200 period moving average, which we're bumping up against, if you're talking about resistance, here's my thoughts on that. Don't worry about that. And here's why. Because we are in an uptrend. And when you're in an uptrend, there is no resistance. Every resistance will be gone over when you're in an uptrend, just like there's no support that's going to hold when you're in a downtrend. And that's the tip of the day. And that's great advice. So if you're in, don't worry about it. Even if we pull back, we're going to get over this area that you're talking about that we're bumping up against under the 200 period moving average because we're still in an uptrend. And therefore, that's really not resistance. There really isn't any resistance. You know, you got to love uh, someone that says that's the tip of the day and great advice, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Todd, I guess you grade your own advice, too. Good morning. My call is that we may have a rally at the tail end of 2018. So it may not be a Christmas rally, a Santa Claus rally. We might call it a New Year's, New Year's Eve rally. We literally may rally within the last one to two to three days of the year. So it could happen anytime between today and December 31st, the last trading day of the year. And here's why I think that we're gonna, we're gonna rally. Because the market really hasn't, for me, technically speaking, gone into a bearish trend. We're still holding the uptrend. It's really about control. Right now, it's, it's a tug of war between the bulls and the bears, but I'm still seeing the control on the bullish side. So if, you, if the controls had lifted and gone over to the bearish side, we'd see way more selling. Now, I know we've seen selling, but when panic selling comes in, there's no turning back. There would be no question that we would be lower. And that, to me, we're still holding. That's a good point. I'm okay with that as long as we hold a certain price support, which is not really where people are seeing where that bounce was. So for example, in the Dow, it's really, for me, a gap down in the pre-market and open under 23,000. And that support is not there. That support is actually above that. But for me, it's 23,000. 23,000, though. So you're talking about another 1,500 points. Yeah. And, but I'm not saying that we go no, there No, we're talking sure. worst case, yeah, potentially short-term worst case short scenario. But really, when you, what you said was great as far as we're stuck. It's almost like the market feels dead. Now, we've been talking about this. Are we going to have a Christmas rally? Here's my take on, here's my call for the end of the year right now because we're getting into it. I believe that the market is going to have a rally in the very tail end of the year. And what I, how I think this is all going to play out, and it literally could be like so, the last trading so day of the year. So instead of a St. Nick rally, a father time rally. It's going to be a New rally. Year's Eve rally. A New, New yes. Year's Eve rally. Yes. You know, Scott,